Hi, my name is Lady. Uh, I'm a breast cancer survivor for like 10 years now. And um, I got, I call this not a disease, but that's a gift that they gave me on the new millennium. And I said, when I was diagnosed, um, of course, there's some denial on admitting that you have breast cancer. And there's a question of why me? I did have my mammogram every year. I do a breast exam. I'm a nurse by profession. But there's one time that I went and decided to go to another facility, aside from my facility, to check um, what they will tell me. They said I have a multicystic breast, and when I went to another facility, they said there's a questionable spot. And they said, oh, probably there's nothing, because I have a lot of cysts there. So they did an ultrasound, and after six months, and then they decided to do a biopsy. And I didn't, I just scheduled it right away when they said I, we have to do a biopsy. When they have the biopsy, they called me at home. They asked me first, are you sitting or standing? And you know, when they tell you that, there's some bad news. I said, it doesn't matter whether I'm sitting or standing. I have cancer, right, on the phone. And they said, yes. And they said, are you with anybody? And I said, no, my dog. And they said, um, I didn't say they. I didn't ask any more thing. And I said I want to see a surgeon because I want surgery right away. And they said um, talk it over with my husband. And I said I can make decision on myself. So I hung up and I said I'll call my primary doctor. The first person I called is my mother to tell her that I have breast cancer. And then my mother said, I just be strong because God won't give you anything that you cannot take. So um, I even called my brother who was very religious in the Philippines. Then the last one is my husband. In about two days, I called to see the surgeon and we discussed about mastectomy versus lumpectomy. And I said, okay, that's nice to hear your opinion and they discussed what kind of cancer I have and they said it's probably a stage 2 and I said okay let me sec get a second opinion so I went to my own hospital and asked the surgeon and they said oh you just need lumpectomy so I scheduled myself you know I know my onco which oncologist I'm gonna choose so I choose the oncologist so I asked him for a meeting right away the following day. I just called in sick for the whole thing because I want everything to be done right away. The oncologist uh, said, okay, let's set the surgery. So I have the surgery done and I went home. They said I was so brave, I wanted, I wanted right away. I said, this is my breast, this is my body. And I don't wanna be sitting at home and making me wait because of the stress of thinking what will what happened now at the time my son, my young I have three children they're all in school my youngest son, my son was only in, in junior high school and he knows something is wrong with me so I discuss openly with all my children what what my diagnosis is so I have my surgery I went home and then but I start doing research on my own. I I have a cousin at the time was undergoing also a treatment for breast cancer, and we support each other. I tried to talk to her about a support group, but she said she's too weak to go to a support group. And and I don't have any support group in my hospital that I work to. So I said, okay, let me look around. In but at the meantime, I'm also rushing the doctor. You have to give me a decision now. Am I going to have a chemo or what? The first time I said, he said, probably I don't need a chemo. And then I said, you know, giving me the stress of thinking, if I'm not going to have a chemo, it might come back. So he's, he told me to go home and think it over, that he doesn't think I need a chemo. I said, can you discuss my case to a tumor board meeting? 
and probably I want to attend to a tumor board meeting so you discuss my case and he said no he will relay it to me so I went home I have my hair cut I, I chopped my hair so so short then I said I called him back the following day I know they have a meeting and I said so what's the verdict and he said okay they said that if you need want to have a chemo you can have a chemo so I went to have a chemo but I made a research okay let's discuss what's the side effect of this chemo and there's still no support group that I can find so I went to uh, we have a support group here for general cancer meeting, but I got so depressed when I'm listening to the other cancer cases. It doesn't pertain to the breast. So I said, no, I don't want to listen to this. I'll do my own research and my cousin will do the same thing. So I have my chemo and um, the, the, my, the, the nurses that gave me chemo are my friends. So we they supported me. We talked and discussed the food. It's so funny, if you are a medical person, they tell you, go take this, take these drugs, take this, you know, um, vitamins to increase your resistance. I call it my fertilizer. And they said take vitamin A, and but this, my oncologist said refrain from certain kind of vitamins. I said, okay, I eat any food I can see, whether it tastes good or not. I said, I have to eat because they told me I will drink and sure and I hate milk I don't I can't even take um, milkshake I can take yogurt my friends will call me I that's the, when you see your real best friends are they give me the best food that I will have and I eat it whether it tastes okay or not I don't know if it is an old food or not but I just gobble it among the cancer patients, I gained 20 pounds while I'm having chemo. Then my chemo finished and I said, so what are the other options now? Then I read about tomoxifen. I have adromycin and cytoxin. And then I said, so I went to my oncologist and said, are you going to start me on other tomoxifen or, or, or toxitir? And he said, well, how come you know more than us? And said, I read. And I said, I read about these drugs. And he said, no, you have enough. He said, you're going to be started on tamoxifen pills. And he said, for five years, you take. And I said, oh, so when will that start? And, I, and she told me, he told me to rest for a while, go on vacation, and don't be thinking too much about it. So my husband took me for a, a trip. But for the meantime, um, since my husband have also other coverage from other insurance, I said, let me go to other institution and ask. And the first thing I asked that oncologist is, are you going to put me on another chemo drugs or tamoxifen before, or toxitir before my hair comes back? And he said, you don't need one. Who told you that you need one? I said, me. Probably I need it. So, so before my hair comes back, I want all the drugs now. I said, I don't want to see my hair. And then you will tell me I need another drug. Mm -hmm. So I finally decided I don't want to take it. So I just took tamoxifen for three years. Then I, there are new drugs again. I found support group. I attend classes about cancer. And um, at that time, I met other cancer patients. And my goal is no woman, no woman should go through this alone. And I said, I'm going to do something where as soon as I finish all my treatment.